there's this really interesting article that's come out the other day regarding nepotism in the entertainment industry at large that's been doing the rounds everyone's been going really really crazy about and it's got a really cool cover here as you can see via vulture if you're just reading or listening sorry to the podcast it's essentially a cover featuring all these different nepotism babies and they basically superimpose their heads onto the bodies of babies in in hospital somewhere so it's really really cool like a collage of all these little different nepotism babies that cover the remit in terms of the entertainment industry and this article has obviously been really interesting to see the people and the connections that they have in industry and you know what that may or may have done to their career going forward and just the conversations around how that plays a role in the success of some people's careers or how far it can take in your career but I think the conversations around that have been even more interesting when you think of people like Jamie Lee Curtis, right? She had a very, I feel like, um, tone deaf somewhat and missing the point um, comment regarding it. But I also think it's valid considering her connections and how she's kind of come up through the industry. So I'm going to quickly read, a, read on that and kind of comment on some of the bits and bobs that I thought about as well in the process. So the headline courtesy of Variety says as follows, Jamie Lee Curtis, I am an OG Nipper baby and the Nipper baby discourse is designed to degenerate and hurt. Which, you know, a little bit lame, but hey, let's go down to the, the post itself. She posted on Instagram with some cool pictures of her and her family back in the day. Um, as you can see there, let's scan across and see some other cute pictures of her while she was growing up and whatnot. So, you know, some nice things there, as you can see. Anyway, scroll down. Okay, so this is taken from Jamie Lee Curtis's Instagram account. So let's actually read the caption here in full because I think it has some very interesting points that I'm going to push back against. So she says as follows. I have been a professional actress since I was 19 years old. So that makes me an OG nipper baby. I never understood, nor will I, what qualities got me hired that day. But since my first two lines on Quincy as a contact player at University Studios to his last spectacular creative year, some 44 years later, there's not a day in my professional life that goes by without my being reminded that I'm a daughter of movie stars. Which makes sense because the movie stars you were daughters also flipping some of the greatest ever to grace the big screen so that makes complete sense so um let's continue anyway let's just not lull on that one for a bit the current conversation about nipper babies is just designed to try to diminish and degenerate and hurt not really though it's more for understanding i think for the longest time people didn't really understand how some of the biggest kind of power players in the industries that you kind of want to work especially entertainment all these type of stuff like arts and whatnot where there is no kind of clear path to get from point a to point b to point b c to point d it is quite important and informative to understand that sometimes you're not running the same race as everybody else so sometimes when you feel like you've you know you've been going to a million auditions and nothing's ever going for you and this one person got five and then suddenly landed some big movie role it's good to understand that maybe this person got that role partly because of their talent, but also because they've got these connections. So it could either allow you to push forward and try to, you know, um, beat people like that who already got all the advantages in life or to be somewhat content in understanding that your journey might be a bit longer because you don't have those connections. That's mainly what it's about. It's not really, a, it's not really, I don't see anybody out there saying, this nipper baby or that nipper baby is only there because of the connections they have and they have no talent whatsoever no one's saying that everyone's just saying that hey the connections that you have and the you know connections the family you're born into have definitely played a role in getting you where you are it doesn't mean it plays the entire role but it plays a role but then nipper babies for some reason they're very defensive um despite some of them being very well connected to the point where it's like yeah you were destined for greatness it'd actually be a disappointment if you didn't turn out to be an amazing actor musician or whatever maybe given your genes um which i never understood like anyway let's just continue because it's just to me it's mind-boggling why you'd even argue against it to be completely honest but i guess i guess if someone's trying to diminish your entire success based on things that you can't control like the family you're born into i can understand it but let's be honest as well there's such um abundance of people who want to be actors who want to be directors screenwriters djs musicians rappers producers there's too many of them and not enough roles or jobs or labels for them to get signed onto or podcast networks there's just not enough not enough ears or time in the day this is all the podcast it doesn't exist so those small differentials to kind of get you there make 
they matter. Do you know what I mean? Like having the connections, being born certain thing, knowing certain people here, they're going to they're gonna make the real difference because if we're all doing podcasts and if we're all of a certain level, then there's only going to be those small differences that allow us to kind of get to the next step. And some of them may be the idea that, hey, I know somebody at the New York Times that can interview me and make it seem like I'm a far bigger deal than what I am that might allow me to then go get a brand deal, that they might allow me to go get this guest, that they may allow me to go get this job. Like, like those things are matter, but it doesn't mean that the work that I did prior with just my RSS feed and a tape recorder doesn't matter. But those connections did help me to get further. Do you understand know what I mean? You get what I mean? Yeah, you get what I mean. Anyway, it continues. For the record, I have navigated 44 years with the advantages my associated and reflected fame brought me. I don't pretend there aren't any that try to tell me that I have no value on my own. It's curious how we immediately make assumptions and snide remarks that someone related to somebody who, el who uh, someone else who is famous in their field for their art would somehow have no talent whatsoever. No one's saying that. I, there might be some people that say that, but no one with any kind of sense is saying that if you're born in a family, by proxy, by default, if you're born into a family with people who are already successful in the field that you want to be in, you're going to have some level of talent just by default because you've just been around it for so long, right? It just wanna, you're just going to take to it a little easier than maybe your average person would. You may just show a natural acumen to it. You may not be good at, good at it. That's another thing. But you may just be, you may just be able to handle stuff like spotlight and questions and whatever it may be a lot easier than some people. You may not enjoy it. It may be a chore, whatever it may be, but that is, you know, that's a given. That's a given. But I don't think anyone is legitimately saying just because you're born into a family, you don't have any talent because that doesn't make any sense. The fact that you're born from these two people's DNA who are very successful means that you have some talent. But again, we continue. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. I have come to learn that it's simply not true. I have suited up and shown up for all different kinds of work with thousands and thousands of people every day i've tried to bring integrity professionalism and love and community and art to my work i am not alone there are many of us dedicated to our craft proud of our lineage strong in our belief in our right to exist so in these difficult days of so much rage in the world can we just try to find a quiet voice that brilliant movie everything everywhere all at once remind us and my friend Robbie Nolan Studio reminds us not to self, be kind, be kind, be kind. Yeah, all this woo woo shit is one thing, but the realities of life are completely different. I'm sorry, but it's just not, again, like, I don't understand why you'd want to, like, I'm really interested to know because it's kind of similar to the whole Kim thing, right? Because I feel like, in my opinion, again, it's just my impression, I feel like Kim, especially, or the new version of the Kardashians now, is that they kind of all want to laugh as mothers especially the ones that have kids um, or especially the ones that are kind of newlywed or whatever it may be. They want to laugh as mothers. Like I want to keep my family together. Da, 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 da. In fact, they were taking pictures of together, with their family, all this sort of shit, right? With their kids and stuff. And you kind of want to laugh as a hardworking mom or a single mom or whatever it may be. But the reality is you don't face the same struggles every day that regular moms who have kids have to balance careers, professional ambitions, um, social media stuff they want to do, whatever, because I'm sure those mums exist, right? The mums who work nine to five, but also want to be on social media and be an influencer on there, but also have to look after the kids and also want to date and also want to travel and meet new people. All these things are the challenges they're coming to face is far more difficult because they don't have unlimited resources as maybe the Kardashians have. So it's a bit of an insult to those ladies. They're trying to lap and kind of, kind of, you know, trying to, um, trying to, uh, trying to laugh and trying to sort of like use their struggle as a as a sort of personality trait it's very strange very bizarre to me in the same way a nipa baby will go out of their way to let you know that their lineage had nothing to do with where they are when really it has everything to do with where they are because the industry is so competitive that those little margins where you can get someone to recommend you or you can maybe do a private reading or whatever it may be, whatever it may be, just an introduction of a coffee, whatever, all those things make a big difference. We know it because we know how competitive industries are. I think of myself in the industry that I'm kind of in when it comes to DJing or whatnot. There are a lot of people who've clearly made it off the back of their talent only alone, but there's no denying there are a certain group of people who have also made it because of the connections they have in the industry and to be able to sort of parlay certain relationships, certain friendships you have with people and sort of use that to your advantage. That is no, there's no shame in that. That's what you should be doing it for. But to 
insult our collective intelligence and tell us that isn't important or it didn't play a role in your success is again insulting to the nth degree because what it does is that it lets people know that there is no like there is no difference in struggle when there clearly is again it's not struggle olympics but there is a difference if you're uh, a young girl in your mid-20s you just dropped out of university and you want to try and get in the movies and you're having to do auditions in between breaks at working in some coffee shop somewhere. Number one, you can't take as many breaks to go and audition anyway because you might lose your job, right? And this is the only job that you have, even though it pays crap and the tips are horrible. So you're having to balance all these things and these struggles they're having. Maybe you're trying to go back to college to make your mum and dad happy. Maybe you've got a, a boyfriend that's that's thinking, you, you know, you're not paying enough attention to him and that you're all about your career. And that's putting a strain on it. Maybe you haven't seen your friends in ages. All these things are, are kind of playing in the back of your head before you've even stepped foot into the audition room. Whereas if you're a nipper baby or you come from a privileged background where you don't have to worry about those kind of things. So your parents are paying your rent and your car note and shit it could make you have a far better audition because legitimately you have nothing weighing you down in your head. You have none of these struggles that are in the back of your head or on your back in general. You just go in there and do the job and maybe, you know, drop a name or two and suddenly you've got the role. Those things matter and they make, you know, they make a difference. Of course, it can work the other way around. I don't know for myself, all the, the more struggles I have in life, the more I'm trying to hustle outside of things I'm wanting to do. It can kind of spur me on to go really full tilt at my dreams and to try my best to try and achieve them because I know I don't want to go back to the hellhole that I've just left. I understand it, but let's not be insulting. We know these connections make a difference. We're just not saying it's the be on end all, but we know it. And I think there are a certain group of nipper babies now, the newer generation ones, I feel like, especially the ones who don't have like glitzy parents, but they have parents who, or family members or, you know, people that they know who actually work in the business, who are shot callers. Maybe they're executive producers, maybe they're screenwriters, maybe they're directors, maybe they work for a particular uh, production company, whatever it may be. Those are the people who really go out of their way to not even tell you because they know, they know deep down that that made a real difference. Because maybe it's, maybe you can say if your dad is Johnny Depp or something, it, it's not going to go as far as you maybe want it to go because he maybe doesn't have actual connections behind the scenes to kind of get you the job that you want. But if your dad is a, you know, is a flipping 30 year veteran of Hollywood and he's worked in the lighting departments of ER, uh, also Grey's Anatomy, um, Friends, and all these type of things for years and years. And he knows all the big, he, like, he's just, a, a, he's just like, he's part of the fabric of the industry. Of course, you're going to find it easier to get into the industry because that person can legitimately get you a job as opposed to maybe the more glitzy, sort of shiny um, nipper babies that exist out there. But I don't know. I, I feel like this whole thing is just insulting to everybody's intelligence because we know there are talent nipper babies that exist. What, the one that comes to mind straight away is Lena Dunham from Girls. Like that woman is incredibly talented. Clearly, from what she did online, from what she did with Girls, you can definitely tell that that's somebody that was destined to always be a kind of a voice for her generation in terms of the ability to kind of you know craft these amazing stories about these girls kind of trying to make it in bustling new york and their kind of various struggles that they have and and whatever and just kind of representing you know womanhood and girlhood in that particular time of life fair enough and she's kind of being able to capture you know capture it all on that tv show girls amazing but there's no denying also the fact that she does come from a family that maybe affords her the ability to take more chances that it can give you the ability to become successful and become a Leonard Dunham. <laughs> to be honest, this whole debate is G-A-Y anyway to me. It's all G-A-Y because I'm sure, as much as I'm arguing against it, I'm sure there are some people out there who legitimately use the whole nipper baby discourse as an opportunity to just kind of make excuses for their lack of success in their own life. I'm sure they do exist. Saying, oh, see, I could, I, that's why I haven't made it as this or that because there's all these people in here who've got all these connections, all this sort of stuff that I don't have and that's how they made it. It's like, no, there's always going to be people who quote unquote cheat the system, who get given shortcuts, who get given advantages that you're never going to have. That's always going to exist in any walk of life. It doesn't matter what it is. It's always going to exist. Um, it's actually a far better story to try and overcome those sort of things. But I guess the just insulting part of it, it's like somebody 
who's the son of the CEO pretending like they got the job as the, you know, as the flipping general manager or flipping, you know, whatever company they're working at just on the strength of their ability to do the work. That's the assaulted part of it. It's like, yeah, cool. You might be good at what you do, but let's also not deny that you're only here at the age of 21 leading a group of men who are, you know, could all be your dad because your dad is basically gave you the job. That's essentially what people are saying. But, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just a natural human tendency to always try and defend yourself. Uh, but I just can't understand if I was Nipper Baby, why I'd want to come out and try and argue the fact that my parents didn't play a role in my success because clearly they did. Like, why wouldn't they? That's the whole point of being that lucky and that fortunate to be given the blessing of being born into a family with that kind of lineage and influence. You should be using it to your advantage. Why wouldn't you? Um, and trying to argue against it makes no sense. If anything, the more work that you put out there, sooner rather than later, um, the whole fact that you're a Nipper Baby won't matter anymore. But engaging that conversation fighting against it, uh, trying to insult people's intelligence, it doesn't end well. We already saw what happened with the Lily Rose Depp girl and how that kind of backfired on her. And I feel like in general, these younger kids coming up should just let it lie, man. Let it lie. It is what it is. Your dad happens to be the director of communications at some amazing production company, which ends up getting you an internship to work on fucking Euphoria, you know, before you, you know, at the age of 17, take that advantage that you've been given work your ass off and then use it to propel you and do other things outside of what your dad can give you but don't sit there and deny and act like you didn't get that job because of your parents you cause you did but use it to your advantage now and use it as a jumping off point to do other things that you can kind of quote unquote earn on off your own sweat of your brab because that's super important also part of life i feel like maybe just going through life and knowing deep down that you're only in the position that you're at because of the friends and because of the connections you have it maybe can make you feel away. There can there can be a bit of a imposter syndrome there. Cause imagine you, you have imposter syndrome when you when you've generally done the work, right? And you feel like you're legit and you're solidified. You have imposter syndrome. Imagine how you must feel if you've come from a family with an incredible lineage and connections and you've been coasting through life, doing the bare minimum, and now suddenly here you are, director of communication at fucking CBS. Like I can imagine that being a little bit hard to deal with internally and then when someone points it out you can be a bit defensive straight away because you already feel bad about yourself anyway but 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 if you use it as it's meant to be used as a blessing to give you the ability to do other things and to take more chance that's where you end up winning it might be that's where you end up winning but you know what do i know what do i know <laughs>